Usain Bolt is the fastest man in the world. A living legend, a time Olympic champion who shocked the world with his incredible records. It may seem that there were no impossible tasks for him, especially in football. Just look at the speed he has. But things didn't happen as expected. In today's episode, we are about to tell you why the Lightning Man failed at the game of football. Guys, we have a request for you. Be sure to support this video with a like, so it will be seen by as many football fans as possible who are looking for top football content. Well, let us know in the comments from which city and country you are watching us. It will be interesting to know the geography of our viewers. So, let's go! Usain Bolt has always had a high opinion of his football abilities. He saw a great football career, which he will certainly build. I think that I'm suitable for football because I'm fast, I can control the ball and read the game. The champion stated, The desire to play football at a professional level was consistent. From year to year, Usain has spoken publicly about his desire to try himself in the number one game. This kind of sport really interests me and I would like to do it more intensively, said Bolt in 2015. And, after Rio, I'll just retire and just try and see if I'm any good in soccer. But I think I'd be pretty good. Bolt never hid the fact of him being a fan of Manchester United and maintaining friendly relations with many stars of the English club. For example, with Cristiano Ronaldo. In the summer of 2017, he was supposed to represent Manchester United in a charity match against Barcelona, but couldn't make it to the pitch due to an injury. Ecuador also tried to get to Manchester United through another no less legendary manager. So far, the contract with Manchester United has not been agreed upon, but I believe that Mourinho will one day see my talent and choose me. Bolt himself said with a laugh in 2016. By the way, his prospects were once seriously assessed by the German Winfried Schaffer, who coached the Jamaican national team from 2013 to 2016. The man even considered the possibility of calling Bolt to the national team. Under the guidance of football specialists, he can actually become a great player. Schaffer claimed, Hussein is very fast. I think that Bolt is a great striker to play on the counter-attacks. I want him to join the national team. Bolt wanted to become the Jamaican international football team player, but this dream did not come true. Something else had happened instead. In March, we are gonna do trials with the Dortmund, and that will determine what I do with that career, which way it goes. The legendary sprinter told the Daily Express in January 2018. If Dortmund say I'm good enough, I'll crack on and train hard. It makes me nervous. I don't get nervous, but this is different. This is football now. I'll take time to adjust, but once I play a few times, I'll get used to it. It was the same when I started track and field. The Jamaican looked optimistically at his football future. Take into account that this was far from the beginning of the story, but only its continuation. Bolt agreed to a joint training session in Borussia with Thomas Tuchel back when he was the head of the team. It all happened in November 2016. Not the last factor in this process, by the way, was played by the fact that both the Hornets and Bolt have one technical sponsor, Puma. The date of Jamaican's arrival at the location of the German team was postponed several times. In the summer of 2017, the parties agreed that it would happen in the fall, but the injury he received at the World Cup in London prevented it. So they had to postpone the trial to the spring of 2018. On March 23rd, Usain's dream came true. He finally got to train with Dortmund stars. Bo took part in the warm-up and in two-on-one exercise. During it, however, at times he demonstrated rather sprinting techniques, not football ones. He also showed himself in gaming moments. Just take a look at that successful header. Together with others, he moved the goal, demonstrated his penalty-taking skills, and supplemented the mandatory program with communication with journalists. And the branded Lightning Bolt. About 1,500 fans attended Borussia Dortmund's open training session with the participation of the Jamaican. The event was hyped and covered by the media from start to finish. It was a truly great football experience for St. Bolt. 
The next stage of his football career was supposed to be an Australian club that wanted to conclude on a professional contract with the athlete. The first challenge was to gain a foothold in the Central Coast Mariners, a representative of the Australian Premier League. Usain Bolt took part in two preseason games against lower level opponents and even managed to score two goals. His debut seemed to be very successful, and some might think that the Jamaican had what it takes, at least, to sign his first professional contract. However, the Jamaican sprint legend left the A League club in November 2018, rejecting a contract bid from the Central Coast Mariners that was worth around $150,000 per season. At the time, it was reported that Bolt's agent wanted $3 million. The matter was reported by Fox Sports. A significant difference, don't you agree? Unfortunately, it was the exact moment when the Jamaican's football career completely went down. After eventual departure, Bolt modestly admitted that playing professional football in Australia was a bit harder than he expected. In 2020, though, Hussein changed his mind, stating he didn't get a fair chance to play in the team. He also said it was a pity that his affair did not work out as planned. Nevertheless, now he sees things differently. I think I made a mistake at the start. When I, when I retired from track and field, I was like, you know what, I was going to football. I didn't want to stay in Europe because yeah. I understood that the media was going to be all over it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I went to Australia. But the level in Australia wasn't good, you know what I mean? I should have stayed in Europe, so... After a year after I tried, I was like, you know what? Let's just move on from that, so yeah. I kind of just moved on. Here's how Usain Bolt explained why he was never able to become a professional footballer, giving an interview in July this year. Usain Bolt left an unequivocal impression on the Australian football community. Commentator Simon Hill tweeted, Well, it certainly wasn't good when he was playing. That's for sure. Brilliant athlete, but nowhere near a pro footballer. Thank goodness, these sorts of PR stunts are long gone. Fox Sports News football reporter James Dodd went even harsher. This is laughable from Usain Bolt. I was there reporting and watching his training sessions at the Mariners. He was garbage. He's a Sunday league footballer at very best and not a good one either. Socceroos legend John Aloisi said at the time Bolt's presence could have impacted the quality of players the A-League could have recruited from overseas if the league was seen as a gimmick league with Bolt getting a run. Aussie striker Adam Taggart also said he would have liked the Mariners' trial deal be given to a teenager instead of Bolt. This is the finish line. Usain Bolt didn't impress anyone as a footballer. As of this moment, Hussein Bolt is engaged in music. In September 2021, he released his debut album Country Utis with best friend Nugent and Jay Walker. Still, the music there is exclusively done by Ann Jay, plus there are several collaborations with other local artists. Bolt appears in the clip, but mostly dances and sings along. I don't really sing the songs, but I want to produce, Bolt explains. I adequately assess my abilities. I'm not a singer. I just want to be like a Khaled, a DJ Khaled, a person that loves music, makes proper albums, links up with different musicians. I've been in music now for like one year, and I think now people are seeing that I'm serious about music. Bolt emphasizes, I want to get Grammys off my music, platinum albums, and that's what we are working on. Now Hussein is a family man. He already has three children. In 2020, Hussein and his longtime girlfriend, marketer Cassie Bennett, had a daughter. They named her unoriginally Olympia Lightning Bolt. A year later, twins were born, Saint Leo, Hussein's middle name, and Thunder. If it's a girl, it would definitely be a rain, shared Bolt frankly. But in general, I don't want any more children now. I'm finished. Having twins is not as fun as people say. Maybe the fun will start when they get a little older, I don't know. But for now, I'm just constantly busy. And even though I'm the fastest person on the planet, I can't keep up with anything. We would like to conclude our story on this note. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to give us a like. It was Inside Football. We watch football 
from a different angle. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.